Hello everybody, my name is Palma and welcome to welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with another episode of Vox Machina episode 8. I'm really excited to get into this episode, especially seeing how episode 7 ended. Ooh, yeah, but I heard some good things that only gets better from here, so like, I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, first things first, though, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I know we're a little ways past that, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And for all your support in the comments, um, very much appreciate appreciated. Also, a lot of you guys told me how to pronounce Scanlin <laughs> name correctly, not Scallion. I do like Scallion, though. It's a pretty good thing. Name, um, but uh, yeah, Scan Lynn, Scan Lynn, I got it. You know, so I'm gonna put, put remember that in my head, I put it in my mind, and uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for uh, telling me uh, how to correctly pronounce his name. But, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. Ooh, we're and back to Pike and her journey. Soul. Interesting Light to see what happens with her and her powers. <laughs> it looks like she's having a hard time reconnecting to Everlight. We know it has something to do with herself. She is blocking. She is blocking herself, consciously. Oh my gosh! What is that? What is that? The darkness lingers still. We'll try this again in a few hours. Wait, is that in her? Is that in her head? Or like, is that in whatever place? This chamber is a conduit for more energy than any one person can channel. Especially one for whom the connection to the Everlight is questionable. It's also bad for Pike. It's clearly this connection, like, means- clearly her faith means a lot to her. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, back to Kazadra. Oh my gosh. Stay with me. I wanted to do that. Yeah, you got no Pike. Imagine. Oh, dude, what a bastard. Need Wanderer's Moss, Flick Silver, and uh, the bag that says dirt. Need pressure on the wound before the spell can hold. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, no. There's no way they're saving her. I doubt it. I think she's gonna die. Oh my gosh, Percy, Percy, Percy. <sighs> I hope I can save her. Yes. <sighs> Keyleth, you can. You gotta. You gotta do it. Joy in what He's just like, oh my gosh, this guy, dude. This man just made himself a drink. A bitch. Oh, sons of bitches, bro. You in particular from that bitch who bore you. Oh my gosh. He moved like Sonic. You didn't know your parents like I did. They took Every opportunity to keep an intellect like mine nose down. You were a greedy bastard, dude. Like, what the hell? Man, Thumb's got some moves, though. Oh, he can fight. I was not expecting that, honestly. The Briar Woods see me for a greater purpose. And for my efforts, they have given me a great many rewards. <gasps> oh, they gave him the great, they gave him abilities? Interesting. I'm assuming that was probably Delilah's doing, right? Damn. Boy, heads up. This revenge is mine. Not if you're dead. Yeah, let him help him out. Let him help you out. <laughs> oh, they're still there. <laughs> Grog's going. He's just complete sick of it. Believe him. I know. It's annoying, isn't it? I realize it's a long <laughs> show, but an a chance for a private lesson. <laughs> he's trying to hit on her ass. He's trying to kill her. That's great. Ooh, oh my god, no mercy, Not dude. I love Vex. Uh, I hope they can save Cass, but I don't know. Cassandra? <gasps> Cassandra, can you hear me? Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to- Bro, what the actual hell? Is she okay? Is she okay? Her head like flopped like as she was dead, she was like, Ugh. And then risen from the grave like Jesus Christ. <laughs> the 
But that power didn't seem to really... We saw a kick in, but I feel like it didn't... I guess he didn't have a chance to really full go full, you know, no mercy Percy. I guess he... But he didn't really get a good hit on him, so... I, I wasn't... I can't... I couldn't really see. Do nothing! Get mad, big guy. Don't tell me what to do, smaller guy! I can't believe he's teasing. Of course they are. What am I saying? How would you like to kill your friends for <gasps> me? Oh, wait. <laughs> no grog, no grog, no grog. You can fight it, you can fight it, you can fight it, you can fight it. Oh. Actual command. Kill, kill Fox Machina. Uh, grog, <laughs> <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my god. Can Pickle do something from this far away? Pickle and Vox are like kind of, they're like, you know, this, they're like kind of siblings, like. <laughs> Jesus. Pickle, you gotta conquer whatever this darkness is. You gotta help Grog. He needs your help. Can you hear us? You must. Pickle's got it. She's strong. I won't go not without any answer. You got this, pickle, 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 pickle. Oh no. Ooh, what's sick? Oh, it looks so cool. I need to find my way back to your light. Lies will not lead you back. I'm. I'm not lying. Yeah, what do you mean lies? Does she mean lying about what she just said? Mm -hmm. Does she mean like subconsciously lying to herself or something? Please, Grog! We're your friends, remember? <laughs> we love her! <laughs> Stay out of his range. Come on, Grog. Uncharm yourself. We have to disarm him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do this. Grog is a strong mother trucker, dude. Just stop now, you giant half -wit. Also, to be honest, these are the most intelligent words that Grog has ever spoken in this whole entire show. <laughs> He's controlling all of them. I want you to know how you died and who did it to you. Your, Your friends. friends. Now, what is Percy gonna do? My parents never recognized my potential and clearly missed yours as well. What plan do you have? He's got a plan, obviously. Oh! That is the trick shot of the century. Oh my god, he literally actually... Okay, so I have to pause. Sorry, I have to pause. So, I... I in my last episode, I literally said I hope Professor Anders eats his bullets. And someone literally commented, like, huh, yeah, about that. And he looked... And he literally ate his bullets. He actually is a bullet. Like, oh, that, ew. the, I don't know how I called that, but his whole we jaw is you. gone. Ooh. You betrayed us when we needed you most. Yeah, yeah. The smoke, yeah. Oof. Damn. Oh, gee. I'm in a cold-blooded killer, dude. Are you all right? I think she's going to be okay. Kind of sus of cast, to be honest. When we escaped, I saw you fall. I thought you were dead. And I thought you'd come back to check. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that burnt. They had use for me. Like what? Me in front of Whitestone, loyal and loving. Oh, to keep the citizens in check? Running away was never my strong suit. You don't need to anymore. Damn, she kind of... Yeah. I don't know, something seems a little off, to be honest. 
don't know if it's just like she blames him for leaving her, which is I I can see that, or if there's like something else going on because that seems a little sussy, Baka. It's a star chart, Grog. These symbols show the sky at a specific time and date. The solstice. Summer solstice. It's always the solstice, dude. You must defeat King Ozai before the summer solstice. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, that's so cool! Oh, she's sending like a huge signal to everybody. <laughs> kind of terrified, kind of impressed. Yeah, same. Honestly, like Kila, she's powerful. We don't really see much of it, but you can tell that she's got some. She's got something. She's got something. Oh no! What is she gonna do? Oh, more monsters protecting him. Why would she need to protect him? That was a strong and like on his on his own. Interesting, interesting, very interesting. Could be reading too much into that, but it's, mm, it's still interesting. Flames will burn away your falsehoods and reveal the truth. Oh, to yourself. She's lying to herself. I was drawn to depravity and violence. I love it, but I know it's wrong. Why do you think it's wrong? So she thought she had to be like some like self-righteous like being or whatever. We do not choose. We walk down a path. Any path can be a holy one. Ah, there it is. You can be whomever you want to be in the light, Pike Trickfoot. So that, so that makes sense. So that makes sense. Um, She's just struggling. She was struggling with just, just her fate and her friends and bouncing it. She thought she had to choose between one or the other. Like, she thought, like, being in Everlight, being practicing her faith meant completely being, like, a like self-righteous, good Christian girl when uh, that wasn't the case. You literally just fall down your own path, do what you want, as long as it's, you know, it's a holy one and you stay true to yourself. I like Everlight. That's a really good one. That's a really good... That's a really good religion. I like that. Oh my gosh, we got zombies! I love zombies. There's a whore. Whore. There's a whore. <laughs> no, a horde of undead! Okay, but I love zombies though. Zombies is like my favorite thing ever. Good. So it is the reason why I'm afraid of dead things though. Like I cannot, I cannot touch like chicken, like a dead chicken, you know, like, you know, from like a store, like a full whole chicken. I can't touch it. Oh, we're done. Oh my gosh, that went by so fast. Damn, that was so quick. It's over. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna finish my dead chicken top. Anyways, like I said, zombies is the reason I used to watch a lot of zombie movies when I was a kid. Um, and I still do because I love zombie shows and movies, whatever, but it's the reason why I don't like dead things. I can't, like, if a whole chicken from the grocery store, I can't touch it, I can't wash it. Even fish, like raw fish, like trying to, like, descale and stuff, I can't do it. It freaks me out. I think it's gonna like, come alive and, like, eat me or kill me and stuff like that, so, yeah. <laughs> I traumatized myself as a kid. But anyways, um, that was good. Oh my gosh, getting so good, dude. Getting so good. Next episode, we're gonna find a horde of zombies. And I feel like it's gonna be like end game. We're getting, I mean, it's episode nine, so we got like a couple of episodes left. So we're definitely getting close to end game time. It's definitely end game time. And I'm very curious how the, uh, I guess, the big battle is going to go. Pike, she looks like she has rediscovered herself. She found, her, you know, kind of, she got her, her powers back and probably more. Um, because I feel like she's truly, like, chick picking the path that she's going down. So I feel like it's going to unlock some new powers when she's, you know, because she feels a lot more comfortable, like, in her faith and in herself. So I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited how when, how she's going to play a role in this. So if she's, if we're going to, actually, I'm really, I'm excited to see if, she's, if we're going to see her in the upcoming episodes in the big battle. Cause she's still, like, she's in the temple. So she's, like, pretty far. So I'm wondering, you know. Ever gonna see here? I know that the actual um, I saw put I saw comments about this somewhere. Yeah, someone commented this like I think on my first episode or some episode before that 
um, the girl who plays Pike. Uh, actually, I gotta just look it up her name because I am on here. Um, I do know her. She's in Blind Spot. I, lo I love that show. I love Blind Spot. Uh, oh, uh, Ashley Johnson. Ashley Johnson. Um, she was she was filming Blind Spot. Um, so like she like wasn't really like she wasn't there for like a lot of these moments. So that's why she's not here. So that's why we don't see a lot of her in here. I someone said that. So, but still, I'm very intrigued how I I, I like how they still like add her in and stuff like that. We still get to see her journey. They like, don't completely negate her character. So yeah, this is fun. Um, interesting. I'm kind of sus about cat Cass. I don't know if I like should be, maybe I'm being too cautious, but I'm kind of sus. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I, I like, I don't know. I see like, there are like scenes where like, like they do like the little eye, like, you know, where they focus, the focus on the character like a couple seconds longer and they're like moving their eyes and like they're kind of glaring or like they kind of move their eyes in like a, a weird way or something. Oh yeah, you know, but like they hold, they hold that scene for like a couple seconds and it makes me thing that we're supposed to be like you know it's supposed to be weird it's supposed to be like sus or whatever and so i'm so that's why i think that Cass is like i know she's pretty soon obviously with her brother i don't know if it's because she's being a little sussy baka or it's because just because like uh she you know she holds a grudge because percy like left her you know or he didn't he didn't come back for her so she clearly she really is holding a grudge but i'm wondering if what she's saying about like her passing info info to the resistance and her like being part of this is true so i i don't know she's been in the care of the, the you know of, like delilah for like a pretty long time now and i feel like it's a very long time to you know kind of maybe switch up alliances you know kind of be on Cassandra's side it's enough time like why wouldn't she be like like in control like why wouldn't delilah con be controlling cassandra you know like, there's no reason why, like, I don't know, maybe, if Delilah would, like, leave a loose string out, like, Cassandra to just be, do willy-nilly and not keep tabs on her. So, I don't know, I'm pretty sus of her. Um, so, also, somebody mentioned in the last episode that when they were talking about the barrels and they were asking, like, who the six barrels for, apparently there was a shadow but that was pointing, the shadow that was behind Percy that was pointing the gun at Percy. Um, for the sixth barrel so i actually, I actually had, didn't have enough time to go back and go look but that would actually make sense because i said that too in the last episode that like sounds like the sixth barrel is for him so his power has a price and so it looks like we are going to i think we're, and i think some of us too are going to find out what happens um uh with uh, the list um after it completes the list that he has on his gun so i'm gonna find out what happens and i'm really scared because that sounds like person gonna get a bullet to the head um, so, uh, hopefully there's some way they can throw out that. I don't know, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm having so much, so much fun with this. Uh, thank you guys for the comments, likes, supports, subscriptions, everything. Um, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. That's me for the today's video. Um, leave your comments down below of thoughts, opinions, and what you guys think. And follow me on my socials to see more of my face. And subscribe to my most location you'll find out for the new video. And that's going to be it for today's video. See you next time. Bye.